candy in the barn with animals. Someone to watch over him. Some things. The ad is over Moo Moo is No stupid pretty girl to rely on like him. Like a homemade stunt between his feet. To knock up his knees. Bad onions. Spoiling him. <laughs> is barn-like. But it's still a small yard. Stop my foot. A Scandinavian sort of big fella. Wearing new dungarees. Bell bottom. It could be overall. He comes in filled with a sensual dream. It does not bear in the least to anything real in terms of your world. It's you. Sickness. But in its pureness, it's a truth. Sitting down on a wet, broken step. Please, Oh, the cow's tits are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's wrong. My young never know the difference between an animal or a woman's hip bone. So, so. Like my son, fresh washed, like new kids. Ooh. Oh, I could sing. Lord, 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 I love you, God. And I have no hate for anybody. Just wanting to love the animals the way I do. They mean folk. Hate my faces. I turn around the corner and make fun on their asses. No tickle does their own feel <laughs> like my own good one. Again, he sings. Hello. Intermingled with a belch and a mock fart and ending with three very loud. time he's buttering his wrist with his red hand making third <laughs> and other noises he was starting to explode <laughs> or whatever now she comes in miss Marjorie sass about 27 years old sure. with a square worldly and Maybe. Funny. Her coarse hair is combed up in a sophisticated way. Which is really silly. Well, in retrospect, that food stained gingham. She's a farm girl. Get her. Hello, bastardy man. <laughs> I waited for you at the green grocery. He said you'd be there. <laughs> he said so, and I painted my big toe, too, for you. Yo, sweet man, you man broke Cyrus you. Cyrus is looking at her. <laughs> yeah, and he's vexed at her. <laughs> Probably Cy was always... <laughs> ...by her. Probably because she, obviously, is a woman in a very dreamy, sensual way. Which is the way he only wants his animals to be. Gentle, sick man, he is. He hoots at her. <laughs> Alice Mary, yo French dancer, you, you woman of ten bits, Emma Newate, you stinking human woman with only cat moths for dick. And a baby paw for your eyes. <laughs> I did not want to see you. <laughs> you told me a foul story the last time I saw you. Never again, man, you do a want that shit. Always pretending to be my friend. And better yet, a hole for me to dive in. <laughs> but I'd rather sink my pit in turd. Clean on my lord! Then you may. <laughs> now, 
I don't want no sour with two feet. But with four, them repeats true things with their grunts. <laughs> Not like you human daughters. Mad for you backwards. Start to hum the French anthem. <laughs> From you know, piggish from a pig. <laughs> so evil. Woo, you smell so bad. That's no joke. Well, go forget it. And your cheeks won't be so nervous. Ah, put your nose out of my business. Disgusting girl. I like Amanda because she's good. Pig or not. <laughs> Your own dirty story makes me very nasty to you. I don't care about your dread and your doom. You sleep with the animals. Bitter, bitter, unholy, unholy, right? Step five pushes her from behind. <laughs> then he stoops down and picks up a dirty broom. Begins to sweep her flanks with a mock lust. Also singing a very low song in a Celtic tune. Mad recovers her ears and shrinks. <laughs> Old man bloke, you old man bloke. Butts lifts her dress with his left hand and slaps her face, not hard, with the right. He pushes her ahead of him. And they both go behind the half rotten wall. It once was an old outhouse. If you're Osiris and Madge. And you! Look at the old rotten wall! Oh, 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 Madge! Sweet flower, girl with a wholesome grin and no hair on her chin. Sallow woman with a kettle of seed in her belly. And toes that are canary My woman, the village need never know what you've done. Anyway, they would like the full freedom to be able to do what you've done. Girl, <clears throat> peachy sweet curry, stop being afraid. Nobody knows, and the pig won't tell. Madge tears. She's so afraid. You just make it worse than it is you mention a pig. She didn't know nothing about it. She didn't feel soft like you said. Just like a razor on my feet. Now those filthy things will come. Please, God, help me. So we should have both laid down with a sow. Madge carries about a while with hands, scratching out her lord from the sky. Pushing him into her Ryan Hard! To have his water wash the dinny sin from her wretched body. Lust for animals. It's like a running spring rain. <laughs> she calls on all the idols and the true gods. To make the flop go away. No! He's old as the Bible. 
Lay down with the cat. Somebody did. And you get no punishment from God. Not like the village gonna give you. Look, if you don't stop your sirens blowing, shut up your mouth, Marjorie! You're making me sound funny to my own ears. And I have faith for my love of the animals with the hooves and the corn cob appetites. Can't you see? It ain't no wrong. They laugh more real than your mother or the mayor. <laughs> for the devil, for the bad conscience you feel. <coughs> Do it. It don't pay. Your dignity is like sloppy old shoes. Well, good luck to me. As soon as I get away from me, they'll never again. I was never again going to be piggying myself like that. She gets up from her bed of wet paper and rags. Moving her clothes and wrapping her hair in her fist. Sara watches her with pickles in his eyes. Then he spies the pig. And on my hands and knees jerks toward her. He's sticking out his fingers like Stone worm. His tongue lolls like mice in his mouth. He sticks out his leg, banging his shoe in the pig's ass. <laughs> Not cruelly, though. Just enough to make her conscious of him. She backs towards him. For in that white flesh, no blood brain. She remembers pleasure. You know. And he The traditional water pot, hammock, etc. Two men are talking. Oh, everything's the same with these two as with a hundred other yolks. The jailbird, Oscar Luke, is skinny and wears the prison suit like a fallen priest. The other man is Bill Marjoram. He's strong and sweaty. <laughs> I am typical in work clothes. <laughs> fat shoes. <laughs> he got fat shoes on. Et cetera. How well can I go describing all? Oh, breakfast is not much. I mean, breakfast is not much. Two pieces of bread, glass of water, and a sausage. Not real, you know? Something to think about, anyway. Sometimes I think like a motherless child. I mean, take the tiny spices out of the sausage and grow them like they were small insects. I mean, if they got watered and sun on them, they would get alive and then it'd be like insects. Shut up, Luke! Stupid. You talking about insects and maybe hanging tomorrow. Your riddles, too, makes me sick. Oh, Miss Anne, they would be spice insects so you could eat them. They would be medicinal. Cure a palsy, hopefully. Jerk a dead newborn back to life. <laughs> I hope it would do all those things. I mean, a dead newborn could have been Mozart. I care in a great many ways for life. That is why the good sausage seed spice might work. Without the evil eye. I bet Shiva would help me. Shiva. Beautiful! With her lovely hand, she's picked the mosquitoes out of my head. You keep laughing on and on about things that ain't gonna stop you from dying. How do you know? What makes you be so sure? Anything can help a man. 
Maybe a rock hit a devil in the Bible days, and the devil sucked out the blood of the thaw of that rock in hell. Somebody made the devil draw out all the blood in the man. I'll have to write that on the sausage. Mustn't forget all the marvelous thoughts I get lately. Well, you're gonna hang on Monday, man. Think, Luke, man. Think. What'd you do? What did I do? <laughs> a woman saw me. She bought me a mitten, told me to put it on. Said the feeling would come through better. She looked like Mary in a story. No, not the Lord's mother. She looked like the whore. And like him, I changed her. Oh, speak up truthfully! You killed her. I made her fall asleep on the ground. Put a bear blueberry in her mouth. Satan was a grub, and when he got inside of her, he ate her innards out. But that was God's wish. Luke is smiling like a good king. How did she die? And if it's too bad a story, you better not tell it in your crazy way. You tell me how you killed that girl. Nobody dies from fruit bugs, Lube. And you tell it sound and real. Sound, sound and real. 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 Now there are keys and chain sounds. And the prison keeper comes in, and Loop, eyes frightened, begins to stretch. He is afraid that he has been heard. I mean to say that what I told Bill wasn't all so. Yes, Sheriff. I'm going to tell you how I killed a girl. Says. 
and takes his hand, placing it on her stomach. He grabs her mightily. What in all heaven's holy name is happening? And 
whiffs deeply. is barn again. Just, Just like, like in the beginning. beginning. Si is sitting with his knee bones high like the two hemispheres. The pig, Amanda, is sleeping in her pen. Fluffy, Amanda. You female, you. Boy, ugly legs you got. Shoot! What hand? Lucky luck that I'm in love with you. Otherwise, you'd be hanging in the pantry. Oh, Amanda. Come on. Come on. Come on, Amanda. Come on. Amanda, when you're old, you'll be sitting in my granny's rocking chair, reading the Bible. Amanda, you are of this world, known to kind of male animals. Pig and me. I know you love me, but I wonder whether you'd be happier with your own kind. Piglets I can't give you, you know? So I am a healthy man. Si licks his hands passionately and praises God making him a husband man. Silent is his worship, but now the world enters Size Barn. Bill Martram. The sheriff. Tom Sluck. Slowly they go up to him. But yawns, one eye open. <laughs> ah, there's the creep. Y'all be quiet now. Quite in hell. Biggest sinner in the world's here before us. And if we weren't fair, he'd be dead now by our own hands. I'd break them off like they was rabbits' necks. Nothing's been proven yet. There will be justice. Men can make men insane. Nothing's really been proven yet. He drove a feller wacky. There's a feller in jail now for murdering a girl. He killed because he saw something very evil. That's a very sad thing. But there's lots of evil here in the world. You're the only Satan in this village. Ah, ain't anybody's keeper. I'm never near anybody. Si plays a tom-tom with his feet and salutes the sun. This is done subtly, the men not being aware of the ritual. No, those two are blind. The fellow that murdered the innocent girl says he did it because he was under an influence. A spell, he says, because he's a simple man. Mr. Futz. I'm going to be blunt. People here say that you are an unnatural man. Am I? Well, aren't you? Well, God, he bangs pigs. My mother didn't bring me up like that. <laughs> I'm a Bible man. If you ain't serious, you better become it. Now, very many people talk about your way. Well, 
They're all wrong, Mr. Slock. An animule is something to care about. Not committed the sin with. Zeus! Zeus, did you hear what he said? Zeus? What's it mean? It means he'd be guilty and he's pulling our feet. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I'd never go with an animule. I'm a village man. In the sun, the sun is good on my head. Say, I say, this fella, this fella has a devil in his head. Devils, you bastard! He lunges at Cy and throws him down. Should have done that folks spot quick! Hits him! Knock it back from Scott's heart! The sheriff fires his pistol a warning shot. <laughs> into the air. Both men relaxed like drug sheep. There'll be a trial for the man who murdered the girl. He'll probably hang. The day will be Monday. I do wish they, folks, wouldn't be mean towards each other. Mean? He talked about being mean? What about Madre Seth? She's wretched now. She's a bigger tart than she ever was, and she's yapping always about what he did with her and him with a pig too at the same time he was with her. Crazy evil! Heaven help us working folk with Lucifer in our village. Come here! What are you laughing for? It ain't funny when a man's gonna die. Well, I ain't killing. that I hate you. Now, I know that it isn't right that I, as a lawman, feel that way. But now, you ruin women, animals, and a man's gonna die because of you. But I'm gonna do something that my sweet guts don't want. I'm gonna lock you up. Because the people might come here. Now, my choppers say yes to your head under their feet, taking good revenge. But I'm gonna lock you up. I think he needs death, not just locking up. You'll be safe. Who's gonna feed my pig? And water my vegetable? <laughs> it's not our fault to care about your land and your animals. My duty's gonna be locking you up. In a cell. I mean, but they've done so much harm. Ah, uh, Charles, up his arms, so ready to receive me, I can see from his flame God. Crash him down on the heads of his judges who want to see him minus with no thing, no bliss. I'm a helpless man now. A partridge, 
Run after by turkey. Bastard! You lecherous bastard! You're gonna get yours now for spoiling our lives. I'm gonna be easier on you. Once you paid up your debt to us. You've done a wrong, man. What's in the middle walks out with the two men. Maybe sad jazz could be played now. Get me 
feet, spoiling with fight when we gotta think of something. Now I mean we gotta think of something where we can get fucked. I mean he should be killed. Loop is gonna be killed and fucked should also. Brother does not have much feeling when he says this. Does he have any reason for Futz's death? Yes. What, his sister's honor? No. Well, I don't want to ruckus, but there's got to be something to happen. Well, what Futz does with animals is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the craziest thing I ever heard of. Maybe it's good. No, I'm sick. Now, you stop your yelling, Trap. Muddied yourself with every bloke in the village. Well, maybe I have, but at least it was with men. <laughs> oh, you quit up your fragging. She sure is. 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 is there. She looks like Lou. Smaller, of course. And wearing old things. It's the day of her boy's death. Oscar. Good boy. I didn't do nothing, nothing but good for you. I thought I told you about God when you were small. Then I polished up your boots for you when you went to school. I did my best for you, my boy. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> you did, Mama. I know. You did. Oh. Let's make some plans for the wonderful things that I have, Mama. These are holy bits of something good. They can cause miracles. They can make people that are sick well, you know. They can even make a dead thing come alive again. Well, let me hold some in my hand, son. Maybe they'll cure my arthritis. Now, what are they? Well, I call them spicy insects. They're alive. <laughs> Those wonderful teeth, they're potent. They cured my arthritis so quickly that my hands just tingled. Tingled. Oh. I knew it was luck. I'm so happy, Mama. You. Use them wisely now. I only have a handful. Don't give them to no pretty women, only old people and dead things. It's a gift from Shiva. Shiva? Shiva. A holy thing with lots of arms, Mama. Shiva couldn't die with her lots of arms, even if ten roots tried to do her in. Shiva lives and lives. Well, Shiva sounds like she's a good Christian woman. Not around here like her. My son, 
man that you should have killed an evil girl as right. Nobody. Nobody. No woman is good. They all want one thing from a man. Yes, what, Jack? Mother. Why couldn't I have him my own father? Yeah. Why? But that is not a thing to say, my son. We two are godly, and there shall be rest for us both. A son and his mother are godly. A son and his mother are godly? Everything you say is beautiful, mother. You are like the Holy Virgin. Why, that's blasphemy, sir. You must never stay there. Just look. Look. Do you see my eyes? My nose. My lips. The mouth. Remember my face good, so that you see it. The inside of the black hood. Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. But it's also important to me. I mean, when after, when you are dead, well, all come to be with me in grief. But if they didn't, I couldn't stand it. I must feel them all around me all the time. They must be a loving family all around me. They must feel so sorry for me. Because I am a mother with no son! No thing! Nothing! What? <laughs> I'm going to be nothing, so we'll be with you, the folks you like. <laughs> yes, they have made my life very hard. I need them, though. You wouldn't know being a man. <laughs> You're my son. If you were the minister, I couldn't have been more proud. I guess I'm just saying everything now. I even remember when you got tattooed. You said it was manly. I couldn't have been more proud. They look at each other as if he was a taunt learning to walk. Noise is heard. It's time for Luke to die. Well, he's dead. He won't see anymore. 
Hello, Miss Lou. Oscar? Miss Lou can go to my cousin Hattie. She's outside waiting to take you home. Oscar? You come with me in the middle of town. Right? Yes, right, I'm there. Well, I'm gonna keep my feet together when I swing. Like a soldier.
She's a dirty, dirty thing. I'm getting away from Dottie. You don't want to hang around here anymore anyways, do you? No. Let's just go. So good to me. And I was so good to you.
was a good pro-peace in. Sheila liked you. Mother! Mother! Get back in your grave! You're stinking up the green world here! Behave yourself! Haven't you any decency? Dishonor in your parents' name. And screaming blasphemies in prison. Jill, you look like a bad drawing of God. I should let them take you to them. I should hand you over to them. Your dead body manners. You want a war? I want you legally killed. You don't have to worry that I'll rape your mother because she's too old. Or your daughter because she's got your bad teeth. Jeff, why don't you kill your wife and kids? You know you're unhappy. I'm a normal man, Futz. It's you that's unhappy. You that created treachery. I wasn't near anybody. They came to me. They looked under my trousers all the way up to their dirty hearts. They minded my own life. But you're making me serious. And I'm only serious. My wife, how many tits does your wife have? Mine has 12. You're renting, animal. If I was with her, I'd be grumpy. been the bug's fault when she was born. What do you mean? I seen a bug on your stomach when she yipped. I was clean when that child was born. You were clean as a swamp. Swamp? Swamp! Say 
good. Why, woman, you're still lying and lying. I've got to hear that story. No, no. Now, you look. Look. The girl is not mine. She's not my daughter. She is. She is. She is. She is my daughter. Then why did the ball sit on your knees like a prayer to heaven? Could have been you with a pig and him like it was her. Uh, 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 oh my God. Things made her nervous, Ned. She's mad again. Don't be mad. Madri will get her on her back again. I'm gonna kill Futz. <laughs> I don't want to know you. You don't have to know me! 